Hey, you seem tense. Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're too ugly to be talking like that. What a turn off. Are you serious right now? So this game is called Ding Dong Dead. I don't have anyone to call right now. This game is called Ding Dong Dead and I have no idea what it's about. Um, I downloaded it off of Puppet Combo's little thing. So I don't really know what to do. Start babysitting. Okay. I've been like, like high key, high key waiting on here waiting waiting on this to like start up uh i don't really keep up with puppet combo as much as i want to <clears throat> oh my god bro are you... ah welcome oh welcome jeez man over here scaring me already jeez thank you for watching our sweet angel on short notice yeah, yeah, no problem. Yes, I have a very important ceremony to attend tonight that we simply could not miss. Yeah, okay, that that's good. Not lest I am overlooked for a future promotion. Yes, Just, we simply could not we, have that. Show me who we're supposed to be babysitting so we can get over with. Money is on the counter. Please order some pizza for Rex and yourself. Rex? Rex can stay up as late as he wants. We're using reverse psychology to make him want rules by not giving him any. It's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. <laughs> this is not gonna to work. Parents. Yo, Bifron, welcome to another stream. Uh, plus, we're tired of being parents. Of course. Of course. Remember to lock the door behind us. You can never be too careful these days. Uh, yeah, you got it. Can I press spacebar? Yes, that's very true, dear. Oh, also, try not to have too many lights on at the same time. Uh, something's been going on with the fuse box. Okay. If you forget on the power trips, just reset the fuse box and you'll be fine. Fair. Floppy disk. Can be used to save your game out of computer. Oh, this game must be long then. Hello? Full of hot dog recipes. How many can there possibly be? Oh, do you not have a lighter, bro? You're like, you're making this harder than it has to be. Go in the inventory just to turn it on. Wait, they said I don't have any new lights on unless the power is going to freaking explode. Uh, candle. Okay, bro. You got it, man. Jeez. Whoa. Oh, a ski freak. It's like a little platform. Game! <laughs> Stupid. Oh, my. I want to. Oh, yo. Um. I'm killing you. <laughs> I got you good. You screamed like a girl, you bitch. <sighs> Calm down. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. I take it you're Rex. I'm your babysitter. I ain't no baby. Might as well be. Right. Do you want any pizza? No, I bet you'll get your bitch germs on it. Yo! Somebody come get this kid before he's he ends up on the news. Alright, if you're going to act like that, then just stay in your room. Oh yeah? And what if I don't? You'll die. Brighton physically? Ah, uh, he's just gonna tell on us. Call your parents. <laughs> you dumb dummy! They won't care! Ain't no rules here, fool! Jesus Christ. Um... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Rex, respect decreased. Wait, I was supposed to punch him? Oh yeah, and what? Bam, bam. Right physically. I'd probably backhand the shit out of you. I respect that. You're pretty cool. How is that cool? How is that? Yo. Nah, you gained moxie points. What the hell is moxie points? 
Um, but he don't. He doesn't want any pizza. Looks like we don't have a letter that extends any further. I'm still left breathless with the recent events that happened in my life. Just half a year ago, I would have seen myself living the rest of my life single and unmarried. The only thing left to care for being my lovely cat, Mr. Jinkies. But ever since I met Kenneth, my world has changed for the better. Everything has been so perfect ever since. He's my best friend, and we've built a life that I believe most people would take decades to build. He is truly my knight in shining armor. Ah, armor. Jeez. I was a bit apprehensive about Rex. Never intended to be a mother, nor did I ever picture myself having children. But he has grown enough to where, after a while, we seem to have accepted each other, and we become friendly. Why, I dare say, I find myself looking forward to watching him grow into a young man. We're really happy. Fam we are a really happy family now. Couldn't picture it being any more perfect. Ever since being married, it seems like, oh wait, he's still a sweet, caring man that I married. But now I see a darkness in his eyes. Not a hateful, evil darkness, I feel, but more of a sad, broken-hearted darkness. A darkness created by the shadows, a black cloud hanging over him. I'm not surprised when I think about it. I cannot imagine having to go through what both he and Rex had, <clears throat> had to just a few years ago. He is truly a strong man to keep pushing on for his partner and child. I hope to help banish that dark cloud through our time together as he banished mine. I'm starting to become terrified. I have rest of pages have been torn up. Uh, I did not have time to be jump scared with that. Garage. Oh, he be lifting. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gain muscle. Muscle points. Why am I able to level up? What is this game? Locked case. Uh, flashlight. Yes, sir. W flashlight. Okay. Now, we can actually... It needs battery. Instructions. Here's a rundown on your five skills. Muscle. This is your... This is for combat only. It directly influences how much damage you deal with weapons such as knives. Brains. Believe it or not, this is how smart you are. Most brains determines your puzzle-solving skills. Some puzzles will not even be able to wait you will not be able to attempt if you don't have enough brains mostly used to when talking to people not only does moxie unlock new slash invisible dialogue choices with npcs but it also will allow you to get them to do what you want nobody listens to moxie list school section is a true mystery stat okay maybe get like a girl or something i have no idea do we even have a girlfriend in this game there's no way they give us the, these these points and expect us to not have a girl. No. Honey, we have to get rid of that damned cat. Not only is it killing my allergies, but I saw it eat a key. What kind of cat does that? I don't even want to think about it. Getting that key back. Okay. What in the world? Okay, I guess they really love hot dogs. Jeez. I guess we can always go through that... Oh, let's talk to the kid. Um, hobbies. Go hide. Moxie check. Uh, hobbies. So, Rex, do you have any hobbies? I like hiding in wardrobes. It's pretty clever. That's your hobby? I don't think that's a hobby, dude. The future, future peeper, man. No one ever thinks to check in them if they're looking for you. They do. They literally do. That's one of the most common spots. What do you... I also like to make traps. Like in that one movie where the girl puts gunpowder in a light bulb and puts it in a lamp. And then when the guy turns it on, it blows up. I've never seen that movie before. I feel like that stuff only works in movies. It works. Ugly tramp. Ugly tramp. Okay, bro. Am I a girl? Because she kept calling me... It's locked. It looks like a crawl space. the TV downstairs. Does he have anything else in here? No. What the hell is that? Oh. Bro, I thought I was losing it there for a sec. This is a pretty old TV. 
I turn it on, but it looks like the power button is stuck. Wonder if there's a remote. Bro, you literally have the remote on you. Late night. Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! It's not working! I got stuck. <laughs> Oh my god, I swear these puppet combo games will get me freaking like cooked, bro. Yo, bro, yo, oh my god. Okay, here we go. Bro, I clicked the wrong button like three times, bro. Okay. Hey, sis. Say, what was that ointment you recommended me last week? What? My sphincter scabbier than a hose knees. No, oh, what the fuck? Yo, what is this game? It's like I'm squeezing out lava over here. <laughs> oh. Hold me back when you can. Oh. oh. And tell you no good husband, he'll never get that promotion unless he starts whoring himself out. Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you're, uh, you're... I don't know the number. Hip G. Ring. What's up, you talking to hit G, fool? Uh, yo, what's up, man? What's up, G? My spirit. Now that my best friend has called his top dog, hit G. Oh, this is my friend. What you doing tonight, Matt Player? Just babysitting. Gotta make that cash. That's how it is. Know this. Hit G is proud of his little homie. Are they treating you right over there? They better be, or Hip G will be driving by windows down in a minute if you feel me. Yeah, you I got snacks? you, man. Why are you they talking you like that? And some soda pops? Yeah, no. It's a good family. I think it's out of Off the Boulevard. I don't know. Off the B? Homie, you're in that sweet steak. I'll be over in 15. Okay. Yes, sir. Got the bro. Got the bro. And who the hell is Hillary? Uh, ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hey, Hillary, it's me. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm about to head out for my yoga class. This late at night? Betcha. I could help you stretch out just as well. I have a house all to myself right now. Sexiness check succeeded. You're kind of corny. You're kind of you know corny. Uh, it'll work, though. But yeah, we can hang out. I'll be right over. No, 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 I'm, I'm gonna have to, like, blur this part of the footage out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cover that part of the footage out, man. Wonder who that could be. I don't even want to answer the door, bro. Ah! Why did she get to the house so fast? Ew. So, you going to invite me in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Come on in. You got here fast. I was in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, you were. Uh, you're not gonna close the freaking door, bro? Close the door. So, this is what I missed yoga for? It's a nice house. What are you talking about? Ask for saying. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is just terrible, bro. <laughs> Ask about her. I'll be right back. Okay, bro. So, if you guys want to actually talk to a lady and get somewhere, you don't want to immediately ask for sex. And you don't want to you don't want to ask them a terrible joke. You don't want to tell them a terrible joke. Bro. It doesn't work like that. You have to there's stages to it. So first, you ask about her, ask how she's doing, ask what's up. Then you might want to throw a little joke in there, add a little bit of downtime, and then start talking, talk a little bit more, get a little bit more. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's ask about her. Moxie, check failed. Oh, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean, bro? Ha, huh. yeah, right. So this is what I missed yoga for? Hey, you seem tense. Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're too ugly to be talking like that. What a turn off. 
Are you serious right now? Alright. I'm going to do my set. Phone book. Let's see here. Maybe that brat will be easier to watch if I order some pizza. Ah, Papa Joel's. They've got the best pizza in town. Alright, I got their number now. You gain moxie points. Yes, sir. Okay, this freaking game. Alright, call pizza guy. Well, at least we'll have all pizza for everyone here. I'm not really caring about getting any more sexiness points. Yeah, this is Papa Joel's where we make positive blow your mind. This is Tony Pepperoni. What do you want? Well, I want I want a pepperoni pizza with a, a couple of uh, slices of pineapples on there because I'm a psychopath. Hey, yeah, could I get a large pizza with uh anchovies? Uh, let's just go pepperoni, choice. though. You know, they say what kind of toppings you put on a pizza tells you a lot about the person. N okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Anyways, we'll get this bar rolling over here. It'll be about 30 minutes, capiche? Yes, how do you even know where we are? I never told you the address. Did you need my address? Nah, nah. nah, nah you're already, you're already in our files. See you soon. See you soon. Real soon. This is the perpetrator. This is the perpetrator. He's the bad guy. That That's the bad guy. Babe. Wait, hold... Hold on! Was that not our girlfriend? Agents news to us a garbage residence. Why are you talking like this? It seems there has been a pandemonium at the state asylum tonight. Uh -huh. The board say that a riot broke out and a handful of inmates, <clears throat> I mean patients, <laughs> have escaped. They're not 100% clear right now, but according to Sheriff officials, not every single patient has been accounted for. Who am I? You sexy beast don't need me to remind you that tonight is the 10 year anniversary of the brutal Ding Dong Ditch Zipper Murders. Zipper Murders? Well, your favorite handsome DJ will remind you that the Ding what Dong is Ditch Zipper himself was a young boy at the time who was found guilty of brutally blood blood bl what you're not gonna finish your sentence Ginning five people to death over the course of a one night in a sleepy neighborhood of the boulevard is or was being kept at the hospital mm. wouldn't it be a heck of a story if he was actually one of the inmates who escaped on the night of his anniversary Ooh, good in here. Tis the spooky season, but I would hate to be anywhere near his old stomping grounds. I shivered in fear at the boat. DJ Hans Dunkenstein, out! Dunkenstein. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Hot foot. My bad. Can we talk? So, Jeez. this is what I missed yoga for? Gosh, that scared the hell out of me. Why does she turn around like that? Go hide. Ask about her. I'll be right back. Want to hear a joke? Didn't we ask to hear a joke and then we just like got cooked immediately, bro? Okay, what is it? Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants? Um, I'm not sure. Or she's not even interested in the joke, bro. Like, because he thought he'd miss. Just in case he got a hole in one. I know the bottom one is the right one. Selling. We're selling, we're selling. That's pretty clever. You're splitting my sides. <gasps> yes, sir! <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, all right. Oh, we gotta get higher. You gotta get a higher rep for the rest of that. Is that TV still on? Oh no, it's off. Nope, it's still on. Find us upstairs, but hey. There you go. <clears throat> Those Nutella sandwiches, man. What was that noise? There's someone in the house. Ah! Oh! Okay. Bro, what the hell is going on? There's so much random stuff happening at once. Hold on. 
We need to get the sexiness points. Let's use... Ah, uh, we only have two. Okay. Uh, we have three brains. Hey, you cool cats. Is there ever a update from your cool daddy, DJ Hans Dunsenstein? What the fuck? <laughs> you freaks are gonna have to stay inside tonight. Seems like our Vivenerds think a storm is set to roll in soon. Should be an ugly one, they say. So don't be surprised if you experience power outages. Get those candles and flashlights ready, folks. Woo! Button down your hatches. Keep your clothes dry and your crutches wet. As we strap in oh. for a cozy evening. Da nah, you got it, dude. Okay, did we not find the batteries? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? All right, let's try this one more time. So this is what I missed yoga for? Bro, you're literally doing yoga right now. Um, ask about her. We have brains. Does, does that work? Yes. Let's go. So what's your story? known each other for a few weeks and i'd like to know more about you like the real you can we go slow with all of this please there's a lot about me that you don't know and i really just want to be sure you're going to be around like long term i know i can be a prick nah but nah some don't are worry just, uh, i don't know i understand how you feel it's hard for me to open up emotionally i guess I'm working on it, though. Comfort. Thanks. That's that what you gotta really do, bro. You gotta show empathy in these relationships. That's what a lot of these dudes don't be doing. You're making a rookie mistake. Come on, man. That's relationship 101. If one of you, if your partner is feeling bad about something, what do you do? Comfort them. Come Here, on, man. Take this. Just so you know that I'm serious and not trying to brush you off. This has been in my family for a while now. Supposed it's to supposed to give you protection when you're at your weakest. Ooh. A pendant with a strong aura. You know it'll help you when you need it. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. This is our guy. Sup? Sup, man. What the hell are you doing just walking in here? Why are you in the garage? I couldn't find a bathroom. Gonna find a bathroom? How did you even get inside? The front door was open, front man. Door was open. We never locked the front door. Thought you'd be happy to see me. Looks like there's nothing to do around, around this place. place. I guess. Hey, homie, what's troubling your mind? Lay it on, Doctor Hip G. I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about tonight. My mind feels fuzzy. See, even more reason for me to stay. I'll be your mental clarity. Let's go, bro. W friend. That's a that's a W friend, man. If anyone try to mess with you tonight, I'll bust out my nine in. Uh oh. What? I guess I left my chrome in my other pants. It happens from time to time. More times than not, though. Come on, man. Great. You're a real hero. Well, man, I'll still be here for you. At least I can offer a good conversation. Just ask Hip G anything and i might have something useful to say yes sir we can level up from this guy okay world building how are you what do you want to do ask for relationship advice hey hip g you a real ladies man got any advice i want to start sweeping hillary off her feet you want to sweep a fine lady off her feet huh yes listen closely as i take you to class Okay. <laughs> hip, 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 G. What, what the fuck did you just say? What did, what did you just say? And most importantly, remember to treat the ladies with respect and dignity. Chicks love that for some reason. Bro, oh, what, what do you mean? You like to get treated with no respect? No dignity? Ah, that's yikes. If you're beyond reproach, the bullshit can't approach, dig? Yeah. I guess. Hey, that's what my Uncle Stan says. Uncle Stan! Yo! Stan got mentioned! That is W, bro. I didn't even know Stan was actually in here. No, never. Thanks. Maybe I'll try that with Hillary. Oh, look at you. A certified heartthrob. Yes, sir. Let's 
Oh, look at us leveling up. We also have to level... Why is that there? Um, here, let's talk to him a little bit more. Um, what do you want to How do? How about you turn some tunes on? Turn some tunes as a tomb in this month. Yes, we do have a cassette tape. That's one for you, G. Let's go. What the hell is that music? It's still locked. Can we talk to the kid? Oh my god! What the? Oh, I didn't even see that, bro. <laughs> what the hell, man? Go hide, Moxie. Check. Wouldn't see wanna be a <laughs> uh, Look at you trying to scare me again. You're lucky. You're a part of the freaking game because I would have killed you by now. Okay. Anyway. Oh. That's the, that's the, um, the Fatal Night guy. Okay. Hopefully that's the pizza man. I'm starved. I doubt it is. Oh, it is the pizza. Just gonna drop it off? I don't even have to pay you? I should probably put this in the table. So, I, yeah, Rex can open some. I wouldn't mind having a slice myself. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Can we lock the door? We're just going to leave the door unlocked like that? Place pizza. You gain muscle points. You don't gain muscle points from this, bro. You gain mass. Okay. Maybe we got to... Here, let's try and go upstairs and, um... Oh my god! Great, the power is out. Should probably check the fuse box and see if I can do anything about it. Well, good thing we have the candles on and before anything. Hobbies. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Okay, apparently we can't talk to this guy yet. We have to go back downstairs. Alright. Looks like the storm really did a number on, on it this time. Flipping it isn't going to work. Let me see if I can fix this. Brains check failed. God dang, I'm not smart enough for this. What the hell else was I supposed to do? So this is what I missed yoga for? No, you didn't miss yoga for this. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Was I supposed to read something? Oh, that's where the gun is. There's a few guns inside. It's locked up, though. Maybe we gotta read some stuff to check and see. A journal. A hairpin. A thief's best friend. Someone's at the door. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to do, not do anything like that this way. I could use this to put the key out, but there's nothing underneath that'll catch it. I gotta get something to catch it? Got a battery. Let's go. Now, take this. Bam! Let's go. Got my brains points. Bookshelf. Looks like all the books are probably about hot dogs. Okay. Looks like the storm really did a number. Let's see here. This should do it. Let's go! Bam. Power is back on. Next, what I need to do is... Hmm. Well, the TV's finally off. Is there not anything else? Just some useless knickknacks and stuff. Wow. Oh! 
My name is Dr. Pleasant. Hello. I'm sure you have heard about the incident at the State Asylum tonight. Yes. I have come to warn you and the residents of this neighborhood that the individual known as the Ding Dong Ditch Ripper has indeed escaped captivity and could very well be heading this way now if he isn't already here. Mm. Please, do not answer the door tonight, no matter what. Okay. You got lucky this time. All right. Who are you? Who am I? Uh, what will you do if you find him? Uh. He is absolute evil. Can he be cured? No, not absolutely. Okay. Will he kill again? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. What's his name? Who was he before he killed and was admitted? Oh, uh, that would violate HIPAA. That is one beast I do not wish to trifle with. After a couple of years with no progress, I realized something about him. He is not human. What is he then? Evil. Absolute, pure, unfiltered, premium cut evil. Dang, bro, got the premium subscription on being an evil? If okay. If evil was a man, it would be him. If evil was a sock, He'd be on your feet. Wait, what? If evil was a piece of toilet paper, you damn sure he's been between your cheeks and smelling like stank. <laughs> Please leave now. As you wish. Then I bid you farewell. And may the Lord watch over you this night. Okay. Don't die. Even though he seems really weird. Alright, let's ask for so, it. So, this is what I missed yoga for? Alright, give me one second, guys. I'm going to gut right here. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Hey! Yo, I got it with everything. Hold on, guys. Hold on, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. I gotta turn up the volume though i think it was like right here there you go careful now or he just might have this girl head over heels <laughs> yes sir okay i didn't realize it it checks everything okay mm, there wasn't anything else though. we got a full level up on everything who the hell is that yo Oh my god, I have to find Rex and get out of here. G! Oh my god. It's a note. Looks like it's from Rex. Dear dumb butt, I know he's coming for me, so I locked myself any, uh, any way somewhere. Please don't look for me and get out of here. No one can stop him and he wants me. Don't look behind the pictures for the key. Look behind. Nothing behind. Oh, we're cooked. We're freaking cooked. We're cooked. It's locked. Looks like a crawl space. He hides in there. <laughs> Yo, did he skin him? Look at him. Look at him! He didn't kill Moxie and everyone, bro. There's nothing back scratcher. Use of scratching backs, maybe extending one's wingspan. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Bro! Bro! Fight him! Fight him! Fight him! Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. Bro, I didn't even freaking expect the literature. Bro, what the hell? Oh my god. Dude! Why? I can already tell just as soon as like he like hit the door, I, I was I was I thought I was over with. There you go. New item found. Key, go get him. 
Is he freaking dead? He hasn't got up since. What did he do to him? We've got to get out of here. You're coming with me. Get on my back. Downstairs. Yo, how did he do this so fast? How did he do that so fast? Saved everyone. Doctor! Could we have saved everyone? And no one would have died! You are an incredible individual to have survived such evil. If you need any assistance processing what you went through tonight, please contact me. As for myself, I'm not sure how to feel now that Vic is no more. He has been my life's obsession for so long now. I didn't want to do what I had to do. But I could not allow any more innocent blood to be spilled. Alright. Another night of restless sleep. I guess I should have taken those pills Dr. Pleasant gave me. He said they should help. I don't want to take any pills, dude. Collection of books. I keep them here to look smart. Never read any of them. My grandma left these to me when she passed away. Bottoms up. All better now, right? Mm, I think so. I wonder who that could be. I better look out the people first. Probably that freaking weirdo. Ugh. I don't like this. Weird. Maybe someone had the wrong address. What was that? Closet! Who are here? Answer me? Who put this here? Again? No! <laughs> After an intense hallucination, you're admitted to this state asylum where you will now be observed for the watchful eyes and the guidance of Dr. Pleasant. You are told you will stay only temporarily until the nightmares and hallucinations cease. Dr. Pleasant believes you can be completely cured. There's a turn to horror any events that transpire that night. The night is a day to approach for sure. You feel strange as if your icy fingers are calling at you. I'm trying to reach you. Something is wanting you. Ending three of three to be continued. It's not going to be continued anytime soon. Thank you guys so much for pulling up to today's stream.